do you truly believe that groups such as Afro descendants and indigenous people have that fair representation in government, in, in the business community, for example, in Belize? Uh, that's the reason <laughs> uh, these workshops come up because in the different uh, areas that they could express it, there was a need for empowerment in this sense. Uh -huh. So um, when the leaders of these groups speak out and get into set some more information of what's happening worldwide, uh -huh, it gives the SICA General Secretariat the possibility to seek somehow to help uh -huh, during the integrational system. So the groups that are interested in the integrational system in the Central America, those are who has been taking advantage of this process. How does what is being discussed in that room in these conferences trickle down to the regular black man and black woman on the street? Well, it's going to depend on the local organizations, okay? Because regionally, we are doing our part. And the documentation that will be held after this process will be sent back to the local groups and a document that they could use to get empowerment. So that's part of it, and it needs full participation of the people. We can't just sit back and wait what others are going to do for us. We've got to do it for ourselves, 